party's colour and what makes a colour is a great cut, the combination of the two. So Victoria, can you explain a little bit about an overview of the colour in the collection interactive and also the technique you're working on? Thanks, Evan. Okay, everyone, nice to be here. I'm working on the ash base, so the real vibrant red if you look through our banners. Today, the inspiration behind the ash base is all to do with British designers. So we're looking through optical illusions of their clothes. So there's a lot of prints and fabrics at the minute and we're trying to place as much detail into the hair as you normally see in clothes. So at the moment I've just surface coloured the undersection in a really deep plum and now I'm working through a rim stretching technique on the back section. Taking a radial from ear to ear, worked on a rim stretching technique with the kind of base colour and then coming into that deep violet tone through those lengths and ends. We're then going to create our optical illusion through the top section and I'll come back and give you a little bit more detail, okay? Resolution does to create a bit more separation and texture and volume of the chrome and some dry shampoo as well. So that way I keep the hair touchable but still separate. Finishing off with a bit of a spray, working with the thin up collection from uh, Interactive. That's why we put it on the step by step DVD if you want to reproduce it. The most important is to remove the weight underneath, working a bit more free-handed using a lot of texturizing technique and working a bit more visually offset out of form, still maintain versatility on both sides. So the most important is to make it individual with the choice of length, obviously a note like that. Hope you like it, thank you very much. Thank you Fabrice. So you can see the variation of texture that the guys have created. They've been building these shapes up. What they've done is they've made sure that they've utilized various different products, layered them up. One of the things that you saw in museum was resurrection dust. This